What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about some basic hygiene. All right, so I get guys that come to my live programs that smell like fucking shit, okay? Or I, I run into guys at the clubs that smell like fucking shit. <clears throat> I studied computer science uh, and philosophy in undergraduate and there's plenty of guys that smelled like fucking shit, okay? If you smell like fucking shit, you need to change that. All right, so this will be a quick video. You can literally buy any deodorant. This is the current one I'm using. I was enticed by the marketing name of Stronger Swagger. Helps reinforce the inner game mindset that you're the shit, okay? I don't just have swagger. I have Stronger Swagger. Okay? Put that on after a shower. Okay, speaking of which, you should be showering every day. A lot of you are like, what the fuck is this video? But believe it or not, there's a whole bunch of guys that think they don't need to shower every day. Okay, you do. If you go to the gym or you do some kind of cardio exercise or martial arts, whatever, you should shower a second time of the day. So you shower in the morning, you put on deodorant. You're like a fucking mother here. Then what I do, this is the current cologne that I bought. I checked out a bunch of reviews. I actually found some YouTube videos where like these hot chicks were reviewing like all these top colognes, like in terms of like popular like pop popular colognes, and they were they were like rating all the scents and stuff. And this one they rated really high, and it's supposed to be a bit different scent. So this is the current cologne that I use. It doesn't fucking matter. Just you can go you can go buy some fucking cologne at Walmart or something if if your budget is low. <laughs> Just it's nice to have like a scent and the way I do it you put a dab here you can put a second one here if you want now you have some cologne on your wrist you rub your wrist together and then you rub it on the sides of your whatever your fucking neck alright so now when you're leaning in to kiss a chick or you have like your hand running through her hair she smells this nice aroma sometimes I'll fucking put a little tiny bit of cologne above my dick as well so she can enjoy that nice smell while she's giving a blowjob uh, but it's really that simple okay in the morning you shower you put this on I don't typically wear cologne during the day just because it it just it just feels like why like everyone has to smell it I just do it right before a fuck buddy comes over right before a date or right before I go out to a nightclub those are the times that I put on cologne and when you shower after the gym put on deodorant again okay you can wear any kind of fucking nice sp nice smelling deodorant and yes I am very health conscious and I was trying the aluminum free deodorants for a while but they just don't fucking stay on I don't even get BO very much I don't sweat very much but those like aluminum free like natural deodorants don't really last for very long and then you are left you know it's not doing its job so you can put cilantro in with shakes and smoothies cilantro the vegetable in that it's called collate it removes heavy metals it collates heavy metals from your body okay and another way to avoid heavy metals is don't eat large fish like tuna Stick to smaller fish like salmon. The, the smaller the fish, the less mercury. What the fuck is this? Uh, one moment. Okay. Um. So that's pretty much it. And and then like in terms of like body wash and shit like that, you know, bar soap is fine, whatever. But you can get any kind of like Axe or like any any of these different things. And then you can have like a nice smell like you should have like these nice smells okay your hair you should um, I use like a stronghold gel you should have some kind of fucking product in your hair if you style it it shouldn't just be all like unkempt and, and all over the place like you just rolled out of bed unless you can rock that look but you, you just want to be like well put together okay um, and then in terms of like your beard I have if you have any kind of facial hair don't let it get all scraggly. Like that's the other thing. And then it goes hand in hand with these fuckers that aren't showering. There'll be the, these like scraggly, like just it looks like a bird's nest or some kind of bullshit like that. Uh, bearded men that also have bo. 
Because they're retarded in multiple ways. Multiple dimensions. And it's just like chick repellent. Okay, the girl's like, this guy looks like shit and he smells like shit and he doesn't take care of himself. And that's the same guy that's probably fucking eating fast food and not going to the gym as well. So, try to eat reasonably healthy. He's getting into fucking nutrition now. Put on deodorant. It starts with putting on deodorant after a shower. Put on cologne. These are two little tweaks you can do if you're not already. Most of you are probably already wearing deodorant. Try putting on cologne before a date, before you go out to the nightclub, before you have a girl over your house, like a rotation girl. And chicks will compliment you. Oh, you smell really nice. And you can even make them aware of it. Like you have a new cologne. You, oh, I just got this new cologne. What do you think of this? Put it on your wrist. Here, smell this. Oh, that's really nice. And then when you're like making out and shit, it, it fucking, it's like a nicer experience for them. When I trim my beard, you can get these things that have like a guide that these like shavers that will have like a certain, you can trim it to a certain length. All right. So that way you don't have to just like clean shave and let it like grow out to that length. You can just keep trimming it to that length and you can get one this needs some shaving you can get like a foil electric shaver or you can use a, a regular shaver and you know make your neckline and fucking trim that all the way down to the skin so uh i walked by this dude that fucking smelled like shit and i was like jesus i need to, this is i see this all over and it's just, they're not even like in the contention for, for chicks. I mean, no chick is going to be into that. You're not going to, you're not going to see some dude with a unkempt beard that smells like shit with a hot girl. Okay. That's, that's overweight, you know, with like fucking stains on his shirt and like messy, like just get these things in order. Okay. These are basics where you're just handicapping yourself even further. So to recap, Put on deodorant after a shower, including make sure you're showering after workouts or if you're doing martial arts or any kind of cardio, running, whatever the fuck. Put on deodorant again. If you have a situation with a girl, nightclub, date, fuck buddy, put on cologne. I have like my little, like I'm also popping maca, horny goat weed. I even have like these like enhanced, <laughs> enhanced sex pills. This, that basically just has L-arginine and some other things in it. L-arginine increases blood flow so you have like stronger erections, et cetera, et cetera. But when you have, like I'm not some fucking model dude, model looking dude, but if you have like a nice trimmed beard, and this is due for a trim, if you have a trimmed beard with gel in your hair with deodorant on and cologne on, and, you know, I wear, like, these stupid fucking... Girls are like, where did you get these? I, like, actually bought these at H&M. Girls are like, oh, like, tell me, like, where in your travels you acquired these? I'm like, oh, at the majestic fucking <laughs> hideout of H&M. Um, wear, wear a nice watch if you can. Uh, and that's it. Those are, like, the, the, the fucking hygiene basics. And then, oh, your breath. I'm glad I, I thought of that. That's the other thing, guys. I, I see on these pro like the guy my students they come on the programs. I always carry on the Listerine pocket strips. You just let it dissolve on your tongue, eradicates fresh breath. But that goes back to people like not flossing and brushing. Like if you're not flossing on a daily basis, it's basically like food like getting backed up in a sink. Like it starts to like rot and smell in your mouth. Okay, it's fucking gross, but it needs to be said. Um, so make sure you're flossing, preferably twice a day, but at least before bed and then brushing and then also get like one of those Philips Sonicare toothbrushes and then also brush your tongue like the back of your tongue and switch with Listerine twice a day I always switch with Listerine before a date before I go to the nightclub that's everything so it's deodorant cologne Listerine okay and then I always have like you can buy like the bulk packs the Listerine pocket strips I'll keep like one in my jacket pocket one in my car um, I have a bunch of different jackets. I keep, I keep one in each jacket. I have like one, like near, like where I, before I leave the house, so I can take one there. But you don't want to be like caught in a, in a situation where like you're sitting across from a chick and she's like smelling what you ate for dinner on your breath, right? Or, or smelling like a sewer. Okay. Cause it's, you know, whatever the circumstance, there, there's food decomposing in your mouth. All right. And it's, <laughs> 
And it's just healthier too, okay? Um, <laughs> created a fu some funny imagery. Um, what else? Damn, I'm looking healthier and healthier by the day. Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what else? With, um, oh, and you, yeah, and you, the last part is you don't want to be in the fucking nightclub with bad breath either because you're going to be close talking and you don't want to be like, blowing this girl's airspace up with fucking sore mouth all right so hope that was helpful basics video but hopefully you caught some things here or there that you're not doing some of you might be wearing deodorant but not you know keeping your facial hair trimmed or not fucking using cologne or not brushing your teeth enough but the listerine is going to help eradicate that bad breath as well all right so hope that was helpful uh DC is pretty much booked up uh, that program. I have had people inquire about Canada. I could possibly switch that New York City date to Toronto. Email me if you have any interest in doing a program in Toronto. Otherwise, for my final little tour here of programs, uh, check my previous couple videos. I'm going to be hitting Brazil, Miami, etc. Okay? Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I will be in sunny Brazil in a few weeks and I'll, I'll be, I'll be making some videos live from the beach. I'll use my pro camera again and shit like that. I have my pro, ca pro camera just sitting right here. It's just much easier and convenient to do it with the webcam. All right. Thank you guys. And, uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care.